Evening, everybody. It's uh, 7.02 on Monday the 15th, and this is your closing comment. Um, today could not have been a more boring day. And um, as testament to that, the volume was $3.9 billion. That's 25% below the volume that we had last week most of the time. Um, Dow was up a whole 48 bucks. Um, advanced declines there were two to one to the upside, so not bad. NASDAQ was uh, up 80.66, and it was a 1.8 to one. Uh, but the Russell was the big winner, up 2070 or 1.2 percent. S and P up 1220, um, and that was 0.30. And the transports up 6326 or 0.46. So really not very exciting. Now what was exciting was. Uh, the number of deals and the biopharma sector. Um, as far as the deals go, Newmont, NEM, uh, had the biggest deal in gold market history. Um, they turned around and bought Newcrest, which is an Australian firm. What that gives them is uh, much more exposure to the copper market. So it rounds out what they do. Um, you get a lot of silver when you mine for gold. Um, but you also get a fair amount of gold and silver as a byproduct of copper mining. So all in all, a decent deal. Um, the stock this morning um, was barely up. It finished the day, though, at um, 47.09, and that was up $1.15. Um, One Oak, symbol, OKE, buys MMP, which is Magellan Pipeline. Also a decent deal. Um, the only problem with the deal is that it's part cash and part stock. And so One Oak, which um, this morning was uh, 57.95 and was down 5.77 or 9.1 percent, rallied during the day and closed over two dollars higher at 60, down 3.72. So uh, that one works out a little. Um, MMP was 64 this morning. Um, and it closed at 62.61. So, um, you know, just kind of an evening out. Uh, the last one was um, NGMS, which uh, bought Aristocrat. These are gaming companies. Um, and that also was a decent deal. And um, Aristo. 2773 up 1489 or 115%. Um, after the close, uh, well, also during the day, Sarepta, S R P T, a very volatile stock. Uh, this is the one that has the trial on Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Very serious. Um, very debilitating, not many pleasant outcomes from it. Uh, but uh, the FDA um, accepted uh, some more information from them and gave a preliminary reading. And the stock, which traded as high as 159.89, currently trading 156.75. And that's up 36.5%. Also, ELOX, 
it's the company's name is E L O X X, the symbol E L O X. I had never seen it before, never heard about it, but picked it up off the tape. The FDA there granted them the right for a new clinical trial um, for another uh, ailment, um, also an unusual one. Um, and the stock, which closed at $3.56 on Friday, traded as high as fourteen seventy eight today. The last on it is eight sixty dollars up. 504 or 141%. So pretty nice. Uh, Shake Shack got a, an activist filing today. The stock closed 7012 up 491, uh, 7.5%. It was as high as uh, 7194. Now, you know, while this company is not at the height of where it was, after the COVID bounce, which was about 138, really, there's not a lot of complaining to do about the performance of this company. It came public at 21. So, interesting. Um, grains were higher pretty much across the board. Gold was up. Silver was up. The energies were up. Uh, oil, 71.11, up $1.07. Um uh, as I said, gold was up not a whole lot, up about three dollars. Bitcoin up almost a thousand. The dollar was down twenty-four cents. Bonds were down a point, and that gas two fifty-four up a dime. So you know, it feels like the momentum to the downside is beginning to wane there, um, and you know, everybody knows I like it. Um, and so I'm sticking with it. Uh, tomorrow we have at 8.30 retail sales at 9.15, industrial production and capacity utilization at 10, business inventories and um, NAHB housing index. Um, I'm going to make mention of something here because I keep on hearing it and hearing it and hearing it about how people are hiding out in certain stocks. Um, and they're primarily the biggest names. You know the list, it's the FANG stocks. Um, but I'm just wondering if that really is a valid place to, quote, hang out uh, while the rest of the market is lower. So I looked at the numbers over the weekend. They're hanging out in Amazon, NVIDIA, Google, Apple, Microsoft, Meta, Netflix, Tesla, and CRM. Now, there are a couple of those that are relatively cheap. Um, you know, Apple sells for just about 30 times earnings, and uh, the stock is up 9%. So that obviously has worked. Microsoft. 33 and a half PE, also up 9%. Meta is the one that looks like it might be the cheapest at 28 times. Um, but, you know, it's down 33.6%. And um, the cheapest of them, if you can call it cheap, is Alphabet. And with all of the AI hoopla and, you know, a lot of these companies are involved in that. So, you know, maybe hanging out there and hiding out there is a decent move. But it's still 26 and a half times earnings and it's still down 18 percent on the year. However, it's the other names that amaze me. Amazon. 267 times earnings and down 108%. NVIDIA, 162 times earnings, also down 55%. 
Netflix, 40 times earnings and down 14%. Now, that one I have to also give a little bit of leeway because it is the best in breed for that industry. I mean, you look at some of the others, um, Warner, uh, Warner Discovery or Paramount, and they've just gotten crushed. Netflix at 40 times earnings is only down 14.4%. Tesla is better than all of them as far as gains. It's almost 50 times earnings, but it's also up 121%. And last but not least, this is the granddaddy of them all, based on P.E., which is 979 times earnings and is down 45%. So I don't know if hanging out is uh, the right way to look at it. Um, if you own those stocks, you might consider writing against them. Um, but at some point, unless this market has a big surprise for us and turns up instead of down, a bunch of these are going to get crushed. And believe me, um, when they start running for the door, it's going to be ugly. Especially when you look at 3.9 billion shares of volume. Any one of these companies could trade two, three, four hundred million shares on any kind of panic. I'll be back first thing in the morning. Have a good one.